Epiphany Lutheran Church celebrates 60 years of faithful ministry. Over the next month, we will remember our past, give thanks to God for the present, and hope for the future. Today, we remember how it all began. We go back to a couple of years before Epiphany came into being to 1957. Hope Lutheran Church in downtown Dayton accepted the proposal to birth a mission. Later that year, they purchased seven acres of land on Far Hills Avenue, a former apple orchard, 50 apple trees and one pear tree. An organizational meeting was held at Bethany Village to promote the new church. The very first meeting was there at Bethany, and Janet Claude Pierre and I decided to come to it. In 1959, Ted Stellhorn was called to serve as Epiphany's first pastor. He and his wife moved to Centerville after he graduated from seminary and moved into the house on the property. That house would later become the parish offices. This would also be the location for meetings, choirs, and other activities. Worship services began on July 12th at the John Hull Elementary where the congregation would worship for the next two years. Seventy-three people were in attendance for that first worship service. Okay, I'm Barbara McDonald Prail, and my parents, Roy and Jean McDonald, um, I think attended the very first service that Epiphany ever had over at John Hole Elementary. It's down there. And on Sunday morning, Dick would take a what did you call it? A sign? Uh, oh. A signs. Okay. And bring it over to where Seaman thought was. Yes. About big. wide and that high. What were the signs for? Well, Direct them to oh, John Hall School. I put them in front of uh, the schools where we're going to meet. At, or, and, then, and then after I, I had to go get them and. and <laughs> put them back in the, <laughs> and the garage went. till next week. Um, my parents had been members at Faith Lutheran on, in Dayton, and when they we lived south of town near between Waynesville and Springboro, and when they heard about a Lutheran church being formed south of town, they were really excited about it and got involved from the very beginning. On October 11, 1959, the organizational service was held. 134 people were in church that day, 69 in Sunday school. A new church was born, its future as bright as the Epiphany Star, a place where the good news of Jesus Christ is proclaimed. We invite you to join us in our celebration of 60 years. Come and celebrate with us.